Taurus, what's up? I'm back with another reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, this is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. And if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay? The person you're dealing with is um, getting you very confused, is what I'm getting here. Okay? This person is making you very confused. You don't know what's really going on in this connection because this person is a procrastinator, all right? This person is not really, really investing into this connection, okay? So they talk, you know, they come and go, come and go, is what I'm getting here. Yes, this person does want to talk to you, or this, but this person is obsessing about communication with you, but they don't heavily invest into you as much as you do, okay? I think you really, really have a lot of feelings for this person. You daydream about them, okay? But the thing is, I think more than daydreaming, I think this is this person here who's getting you very confused in your head. You don't know what to expect next from this person, okay? But um, definitely a procrastinator, like I said, and definitely someone who is thinking about communicating with you, but their approaches towards you are very immature, which is driving you nuts. This person is very stuck in their head. Very stuck in their head. Okay. So, uh, I think this person that you're dealing with, right? This person has a very restless mind. Okay. So, um, uh, they, they, they start something with a lot of excitement, but this person does have a hard time completing the task. Is also what I'm getting here. They don't learn from their mistakes. Okay. I feel this person out here, they don't, I mean, they don't learn from others' mistakes. They like to learn from their own mistakes, okay? And this makes them very harsh, very, very rigid to change their whole thoughts, opinions, and decisions. And I also get that once this person makes a decision, they stick to the end, you know? They, they stick to a decision here. So very stubborn energy out here. Uh, this person is going to be restless and rigid for right now, okay? Which is why, again, they keep contemplating, right? They keep procrastinating about whether they want to talk with you or not. This person stays, chooses to stay in a situation on their own, okay? They're coming in their own way out here. You know, uh, could be someone overly materialistic also, but uh, this person definitely someone here who chooses to stay in their own head, okay? If they would trust their intuition, they would see that there is a solution, there is a way how they can salvage the relationship, you know, and they can come forward and probably at least offer an apology or at least offer uh, a substantial something, a stable communication or something that uh, adds on... Um, to some value to this connection okay but they're still not doing that because they're stuck in their head now either there could be a lot of past influences which is stopping this person from getting out of their head and taking action towards you or something's happened within the relationship okay or it could just be plain fear plain negative attitude you on the other hand here this is driving you nuts okay i think you're overthinking over analyzing here and uh, it's leading you to a lot of stress and almost also to a place of burnout out here yeah Wow. Yeah, see, they want to communicate, finally, thank you. This person does want to communicate, okay? This person does want to uh, give you some clarity here. They do want mental clarity with you. I think they're trying to clear their head by not taking action right now, okay? I think they're looking forward by staying in this energy, stuck energy. They're trying to see how they can come towards you with clarity, give you the best clarity and clear out the air with you. You, on the other hand here, three of swords in reverse, three of swords in reverse, Yeah, I think you're ready to move on. I think you don't, you, you, you're, you're, uh, <clears throat> you're, you have your confidence, okay? You're probably reviving your confidence, okay? You're keeping your options open also probably. But I think you're trying to get out of this connection. You're trying to heal from this connection. You're trying to focus on what you think you're more passionate about, something that you want to do. No longer chasing this person here, standing in your power. This person sees you as someone probably who has a lot of options also. But I think your self-confidence is something that's, pushing you to move away from this person you're trying to heal i think you're trying to heal from this connection there could be a lot of negative self-talk that you do to this towards this connection also but i think more than anything else you have gone through this period of procrastination and i think you um want i don't think there's so much of a reconciliation from your side but it's more like um i know what i want 
And if this person is not ready to give me what I want, right, I'm ready to move forward is what I'm getting here. Whilst this person wants to come towards you with a brand new beginning. I like this beginning because this beginning has a lot of clarity. It's a lot of honesty, okay? It's a very truthful new beginning that this person wants to give you. Yeah, see? That's what I said, right? You're, you're refusing to compromise with this person. There's no compromise from your side. You're just not going to compromise. You're not going to back down. You want what you want. You've been fed up, tired, you know, beaten, wounded warrior kinds. You've been fighting for this. You had the strong willpower to fight for this. You put in a lot of energy, okay? And I think you've done this with this person over and over and over again. And now there's a time where you're like, you know what? You had, uh, you didn't make a bad judgment in the past year. Okay, maybe you were in that idealistic dream world that everything will be okay once uh, every day. But uh, I think you were running away from reality. Now, I think you're finally working on yourself. You're finally looking at this in a more realistic view. And um, I think you're giving up on this connection. That's what you're doing. You're giving up on this connection. Yeah. You're just like, I can't do this any longer. There's exhaustion from your side. You're very exhausted ready to move on from this connection okay i don't see you as still giving up on this as in like just letting the load go i think it's more like you know what i'm no longer putting in any more effort into this connection okay because there is a lack of compromise from your side or this uh, you know you both are not meeting each other halfway and like i said right you put in a lot of effort into this connection for a lot of you and um past the past uh, issues with this person or there could have been a past where there were a lot of hurdles, right? And the past is uh, traumatizing you because of which you ha did have your cards up. But you didn't let this connection go. But now finally you're um, giving up. Queen of Swords. This person does want to communicate with you. And I think they will communicate with you very, very, very clearly. They're going to give you the communication that you need. This is going to be very cold, very truthful communication. I think this person is going to come towards you with like, you know, wearing a false mask. Like they know they have a lot of love for you, right? But they're wearing a false mask and they're going to try and be very logical and very rational towards you. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, very rational. The Queen of Swords is someone, you know, who obviously is fed up, right? But, um... It could also be this person here who has very clear thoughts and what they're going to speak, right, is going to be something that's just going to make a lot of sense to you because they're going to operate uh, from, like I said, from their head. They, it's going to be like a head or a heart decision to talk to you and to uh, clear the air with you. It's the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're very emotionally attached to you, you know. They're very emotionally attached to you. They have a lot of love for you. That's what's happening here. And they have a lot of regret, okay. And I think they want to cut out the regret. And they want to have a new beginning with you. Which is... Um, which probably has a lot of potential. That's what I'm getting. What action do you plan on taking? What action does this person plan on taking? Wow, they're feeling so guilty. You're planning to run away from this connection. <laughs> yeah, I'm seriously saying that. I mean, you're, are you, you're planning to run away from this connection. What's the night of wands? Yeah, you're no longer working on this. Guys, you're no longer, <clears throat> you're no longer working on this connection. I told you, right? You're going you're, you're, you're gonna to be very passionate. You're going to do what makes you happy. You're just leaving this person. You're out. You're out of this connection. You've left the table. You've left the building. Why don't you just sit there? <laughs> You've left the building. This person is guilty. They're coming back. And I think this time that they're coming back, right? They, they'll keep coming back, dude. They'll keep coming back. Just don't be surprised. If you ever feel like this person is going to let you go and, you know, now they won't come back, no matter how long the communication has been, they'll keep coming back. That's just a part of them, okay? They're never going to be openly telling you how they really, really feel. With the Queen of Swords, yeah, again, remember, the Queen of Swords does not imply someone who openly opens up over that communication this is someone who wants to talk to you straightforward okay so yeah this person is always going to run away from commitment or probably always going to run away from opening up emotionally okay and they're coming back that's the action that they're going to take towards you they feel very guilty all right they feel very guilty what is the outcome let's see the outcome here 
Yeah, so you're no longer taking action to, I mean, see. This person, they come towards you, right? But when it comes to the commitment part, right? See, like I said, this person still has a very passive approach. It's that, 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 that intention of, you know, being like that masculine energy, you know, of like wanting to go there, get, get up and get what you want. That intention of wanting to make shit happen out here. They're still lacking that, you know, why? Because this person here is not emotionally stable. They're still not stable. You know, I'm just getting overall, this person does not have that internal power, that internal strength to face and fight the challenges that are a part of this connection. You know, this could be somewhat very isolated also. Okay. But this person usually faces a lot of disappointments and failures, a lot of sadness in their life because they don't open up. They don't open up. They choose to be quiet here. And they usually gain wisdom or learn lessons, you know, or pay a big price after mostly losing something very, very precious. Okay, be it an object, be it a connection. And yeah, once you walk away, they're going to realize that's the kind of... Do you see how the light is just falling on this much? On, on, on this and this, right? So I feel like this is the theme of the reading here where you're walking away you're running in fact you're running away you're probably wanting to be passionate you're just running away from this connection is what i'm getting very enthusiastically you know and i see see this part here a little bit of seven of swords in reverse here right this is what the problem is in the outcome here right this person still does not take action towards you and you're no longer waiting you're like see ya that's what you're doing and they're coming back but they still don't take the uh, the action and the outcome here very passive approach here this person tends to doubt their themselves you know they second guess themselves but again overall they don't have the strength and energy more than energy they don't have the strength to overcome the obstacles you know they're still not being able to fight for this connection distance could be a problem here between you both uh so that's what I have for you. Uh, yeah, distance, long distance is what I'm getting here. So yeah, all right, that's what I have for you, all right? But I feel that once they lose this connection, I don't know why I was, um, um, why, is I, why I was told to say this. I feel once they lose you, right? That's when this person is gonna be mature. That's when they're gonna move towards spirituality, etc. okay? But um, yeah, it's gonna take for them to lose you in order for them to realize what they had to put in what they had to uh, actually put into the connection but that communication with the queen of swords it's going to be like hey you know what like yeah let's try to make it work out or they'll just tell you what really went wrong with the connection but with the emotional part they're still not doing that still not doing that which is why you're walking away okay so that's what i have for you hope this video resonates leave your comments below bye bye